Good morning, YouTube. Hey, I got a surprise for us. We are out wandering around. We're on our way back from Brazzles Bend State Park. But on our way north, I, I've been driving by it for years and I thought, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop and check this out and well, I'm gonna shoot some video and share it with you. This is not a scheduled production or anything. This is kind of a spur of the moment thing, but we are at Fort Boggy State Park. You can see the sign for this right off the highway right off of 45 just north of Madisonville so we're just gonna cruise around here and see what this is all about there's no camping I think there are cabins I think there's some cabins available here at Fort Boggy but it appears that they are maybe closed I don't know we just I just unloaded little red started cruising around it's not big enough to do a real a scooter run there's no point in doing a scooter run the shell cracker below talks about fish that are in the lake there's a, a handicap friendly picnic spot See what the map shows us. There is a there's two trails. I don't know how well those are how navigable those are gonna be. A couple miles. I don't know. We'll we'll see. It shows there's two cabins. They're gonna be over there. Beautiful day use area though. It's like they've got the swimming beach closed off. So this time of year, you could do a family reunion here. How cool is that? I don't know if there's a it was originally a, a Fort Boggy or I, 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 I've usually done my homework before I start shooting video but I didn't do any homework I just hey let's go to Fort Boggy primitive campsite so, you, so maybe there is some camping here So there's a cabin. It looks like there are three cabins. Oh wait, there's 
more. Why is my camera dinging at me? Don't know why. My camera is dinging. This one does not seem to be occupied. How cool is that? Look at that big old porch. Fort Boggy State Park. That's pretty cool. Not for RVers. I wonder if the door's locked. Ah, it has beds. These are true, true cabins. Look at this. Sweet. You need to sit out here and, oh man. How cool is that? All right, so let's go see some primitive campsites. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna mount you, put you in the harness here. Looks like they're building more. I'm pretty sure this was where the primitive campsites were supposed to be. That's, that's the trail for the primitive campsite. Maybe they've closed off the primitive campsites. That looks like a restroom facility going in. All right. not a very big park so this certainly is not gonna take us very long to I think we're already done I don't know hi pardon yes ma'am it's a hero nine my husband's a filmmaker. I'm a so, YouTuber. You're a YouTuber. Uh, you can't really call what I do filmmaking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I rode around with a camera and talked to it. So what do you what do you YouTube? Adventures in space. I am Dude RV. Dude RV. I shoot video of every place I you take my RV. Everywhere. No, you're fine. No. I don't do private campgrounds. This. This will be Texas State Park number 64 that I have documented and I've got like 60 or so Corps of Engineering and Forestry Service campgrounds. So have you gone to Paladuro and done it there already? I did Paladuro in the rain. I'm the only YouTuber that has Paladuro flooding. <laughs> I'll have to look at that. I'm a huge Paladuro fan. 
Have you been to Caprock Canyons? Not yet. I'm working on it. Uh, I like Caprock way better than you know, Paladero. I'm afraid I'm going to like Caprock better, so I'm a little hesitant to go because Paladero's had such a place in my heart for so long. But they don't have cabins at Caprock, though, so you'll have to sleep in a tent. Oh, they don't even have yurts? Mm, they, oh, the they, have, they have primitive and RV sites. That's about it. Oh, okay. I'll look for you on YouTube. Do Would you, -E -E Would you like a sticker to help you? Yes. So what is that called? This is an ADA compliant mobility scooter. Okay. It is actually called a triad. My fans call it Little Red. So every place that I go, I do a, an experiential video, and then I do a full campground tour with the camera up here. So it's literally a 300, you know, it's like a wow. 180 degree FPV flying kind of video. So I've got the Max Lens mod for this. I don't know if you know much about the GoPro 9. Yeah, it's got image stabilization so it doesn't jump around oh, okay. and when you put it in the max lens mode it's got horizon stabilization so when i'm banking the horizon stays perfectly level and it's got this real wide so it's really a cool experience like on a big screen tv that's cool well we'll look it up on youtube cool on the big screen. thank you ma'am have a good day enjoy your journey i think we've we've pretty much touched on everything that, here a couple more things to look at or at least one and that would be this bridge but i can't get little red down to the bridge so we'll have to see it from afar yeah i'll, I'll hobble down there for you i'll make the journey down those steps just for you Somebody's cooking some lunch. Man, this smells good. That's a pretty bridge. So here we are. <laughs> We've experienced the bridge at the bridge at Fort Moggy State Park. Here it is. Aren't you excited? down and take a picture of the sign. We're back out at the road. Where's the Fort Boggy sign? There it is. We passed it. Are you doing any good, sir? Hey, I just got here. Just got here. Are there trout in this lake? Oh yeah. Well, they stock them. Oh, they stock. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say. Ago, anyway, they be here till the until it gets until it gets too hot and they die off. So you heard it from the man on the dock. There's actually trout stocked in oh, yeah. this lake every year. All right. I guess I might find some music. Cue the music. So Fort Boggy State Park is not very large. There's no RV camping. 
Now there are cabins and primitive camping. And the cabins, you'll as you'll see, the cabins are just fantastic. They're they're some of the best Texas State Park cabins I've seen. Little did I know. But you will know, mostly, this is day use. Now, there's some hiking trails, but uh, I'm not going to try to get a little red on them. Simply because we got to get back on the road. And I told Yappy I wouldn't be very long shooting this park, so maybe next time, or somebody else, maybe if you've been to Fort Boggy and you've hiked the trails, uh, post in the comments down there and, and tell us what your thoughts are. So we're gonna pass by Ms. V and run down here to the lake. And there you have it. We'll go down here to the to the boat dock. Are you doing any good, sir? Hey, I just got here. Just got here. Yes, sir. They said there's some uh, trout in here. So. Are there trout in this lake? Oh, yes. Well, they stock them. Oh, they stock? Okay. Yeah, I was going to say. So anyway, they be here till the until the... Until it gets too hot and they die off. So you heard it from the man on the dock. There's actually trout stocked in oh, yeah, this lake plenty. every year. So that brings us to the end of our visit to Fort Boggy State Park. Hey, if you're driving by and you've got some time, this is a oh, this is just a beautiful place to stop and have a little bite of lunch and maybe put a hook in the water. Maybe even spend the night in a cabin or a tent. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I sure appreciate you stopping by and I do hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am so very deeply honored. And to my patrons, God bless you. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?